Hello, 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 and welcome to a new episode. All right, and uh, anyway, I was kind of working on uh, Proxmox, and uh, I'm trying a different type of uh, UI for Dockers. Uh, as you know, we usually use a Portainer, but um, I'm looking for a new one. You know, we always try to find new stuff to play with, mainly. Uh, let's have a look on uh, there we go uh, i was looking arcane i seen a few people doing play with it and uh, i said well why not let's do and let's start it and let's try it ourselves is it better ver uh, i don't know it's a better version or is i don't know how you say it but anyway is it better all right uh, so we got github also in opened and we have the documentation and a quick start guide. So yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a new container. I'm gonna call it Arcane. I'm gonna show you the first part and I'm gonna fast forward. All I'm doing, I'm installing Ubuntu and I'm going to install again. Um, Docker, all right. So anyway, uh, the container has been created and now it's deploying the image. All right, that's done. Let me click on that. Okay. Console or console, whatever. Let me log in. The first thing I'm going to do is update and upgrade, and then I'm going to install Docker. All right, so now I'm going to start to remove all the conf of, you know the conflict packages. So um, you won't have any problems with the um, installation of Docker. Let me delete. That. I don't know why I paste this one here. Um, there we go. Let's do this here again. That should be okay anyway. It's a brand new installation, so yeah, we shouldn't have any problem. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a update. Again, I'm going to use sudo, um, just in case you are not in a root like I am. There shouldn't be any problem. Okay, uh, just copy and paste. The way I'm doing it, if you want to, or you can find the information on the Docker website. I'm not, you can find the, I'm sure I already done this in another video, but just in case I'm showing you how I'm doing it, it's quite fast, the, you know, the, the process. So, yeah. If you want to know more about line by line, you know, beef. Search for how to install Docker, okay, and uh, that's it, really. Um, I think I done that, didn't I? Did I do that? Yeah, I think I done it. Well, just in case I do it again, but I already got uh, on my text file, so all I'm going to do, you know, what I'm doing is just copy and paste. It just make it easy for me to, you know, to carry out processes without even, you know, without wasting my time looking for it or simple as really. Now we're going to install the latest um, version of, of, of Docker. Okay. This is quite a long process. So I'm going to pull pause the actual video now and I'm going to uh, resume when it's done. Okay, uh, it's done. What I'm going to do now is um, let me get this one here a second. This is what we're going to do uh, and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a Docker Composer YAML file, all right? So before I do that, I don't think I got 
Docker Compose. Uh, do I have a Docker Compose? Let me do. Okay. Yeah, no. Docker Compose. YAML file. I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna change the two thousand to one thousand. Let me okay, let me save that a second. What I'm doing. Control S Control X. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna leave it 1000, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it 1000 actually, to be honest. Um, everything looks good. You might want, yeah, you might want to leave this one untagged, yeah, on insecure, just in case you get a problem with the SSL. So, yeah, you allow that. Um, unless stopped, but well, you can change that later if you wanted to. Drive a local. Yeah, it looks good. Now we're going to generate the SSL code here. Uh, where are we? I'm going to do X paste. Copy that. Uh, no, no. And I'm gonna paste this one here. Paste it and go. Let me let me do this a second. Yeah. Okay. Now, Control S. Control. X. Now, um, if we go back to the website, here we go. Once you've done that, now, again, you can actually change some of the uh, volume, for example. I'm believing as a reason this is a demo. The you know, after that, this container is going to be deleted anyway. I'm not really using it. But if you want to know more about it, how to use it, again, I'm going to leave all the, uh, the information, the links below in the description. So you can actually have a go and set permissions if you need to, environment, variables, is that what you want to do it. My next step is going to be on running this one here, Docker Compose. I don't think I got Docker Compose installed, but... I'll show you how it works. Again, uh, in regards to me and target this one, because logically some uh, browser will give you error because the HTTPS, you don't have a, a valid SSL. So this will, uh, will work on HTTP, okay? So that's the reason why I done it. So I'm gonna paste that and I did the install the compose. Sometimes I forget I done something or not, especially if it's done in multiple days. In fact, this is not the same day I done it. Uh, this is on a different day, all right? Just in case you're wondering. And anyway, once that's been done, I think it's, the port is 3000. And IPA, just in case you want to know what is your IP. Here we go. And the port is 3000, okay? Just to give you an idea on how to get this information. There we go. Now we are in Arcade. That's what you get. Let's go back to the website. Not sure if you're going to set up a new... Uh, Login details. 
no idea. It doesn't say here unless it says this. And I forgot. Did I forget or? Right, let's see if I got a. Right, it doesn't. Just one second, I'll, have a, I'll come back to that. All right, so I just um, looked a little bit around the net and I couldn't really find anything. But then I found a blog post and it states is arcane with the one A and arcane admin, I think. And it, well, and it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, let's retype again. Right, so it's Arcade Admin, as I thought it was. And let me get this up. So if you go to User Management and SSO, that's where you find the information. Okay, just in case. Never, not now. Let's go and continue. Not sure what's going on here. Um, okay, let's do it again. Continue. Again, not now. Container about point, yes. I'm not sure if it's my screen here, but that, I can't see anything. But it is even better, so anyway, I'm also going to do this on here. I just put that 15, but I'm not sure if. Uh, There we go, we are inside, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the settings. Um, Docker, we got the, the correct Docker host. There we go, we got 15 there. Not sure what happened uh, before. Hopefully for you, it's going to be okay. Uh, Rolls, admin, arcane. I'm sure you can edit again the password. The username, it looks like you can change it, but I'm sure you can create a new admin. Yeah, you can change the role. So I presume you could do admin. Um, and then authentication, we got the local authentication. Session timeout in 30 minutes. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, Let's change the dim to black because my eyes are completely crying out. We can prove. Anyway, let's go back to the dashboard. It looks kind of tidy, I must be honest. Uh, Arcane is running. The image we got Arcane, of course. Container is Arcane. Inspect as well. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad at all. Come on, no. Can you do it? All right. So I get the IP address configuration. That's the port. I'm sure. I wonder if you can change that. Okay. Network. We got the root network. Now I'm sure you can change. All right, you got the bridge. All right. Can you make, yeah, you can create a new network. I like to create a network that is conformed to my router. I'm running um, PFSense, so, so I can actually get IP allocated by the PFSense, if that makes sense. So I don't have to work things around with the Mac VLAN or whatever. So, yeah. So yeah, that looks good. We got uh, volumes, stacks, 
Okay. So you bought it? Okay. That's not, not bad at all. Right. What is the double? Well, there is no doctor can post a file. I thought you could import it. Perhaps it means something different. Uh, I don't. Okay, uh, that's fine. We go back to containers. Can, let's see if you can do another container there. Container. Image. Volume. Network. Advanced. Well, it's kind of a good. I like the interface. The interface is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's that's not bad. Perhaps it's not, not bad at all. I mean, you can buy now a two gig. Uh, sorry, what I'm talking about: uh, two CPUs, four gig of RAM, and twenty five gig of space, and you can install. Arcane if you want to, or you can have Portainer, and you can do anything you want, you know, if you install a proxy manager there, um, yeah, you can, you can do anything you want, you know, with Portainer you can install WordPress, it's quite cheap, I think they, they sell it for £9 something, I think they only price themselves in pounds, not uh, in dollars, but yeah, I mean, it's quite good, because it's managed as well, any problem with the actual container itself, they take care of it and if you need a security update that's all inclusive yeah if any you know if you need any uh, vps with anything installed just drop a line go to the um, youtube contact there's an email there just send an email to us and we get you up as you know up and running no problem we give you all the prices before you make the final decision anyway so yeah any issue anything you need from they mainly do collocated the server cloud. So, but if you need a VPS, just drop us a line. Uh, let me show you how you do it. Uh, it should be in more view email address. Yeah. And click on that, submit, and you get the email address. So, yeah, that's as simple as that. Okay. So, yeah, any problem, guys, let me know. And it's always someone over here who's going to look at your email and I'm going to help you. Right, thanks again, guys. Thanks for stopping by. This is, again, we don't do tutorials anymore. But this is something that we, uh, you know, we always explore, uh, try to find the new applications that we can use. And again, it's for you, for you, you know, to understand what's new, what is on the new industry. And again, if you need anything you see on my channel, uh, WordPress installed, anything, just drop us an email and we get you started. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.